In this video, we will discuss the Dijkstra algorithm. And we will also walk through all the steps of the algorithm by finding the lowest cost route in an example. Graphs can be represented in various ways. Common ways are just tables or matrices, but we choose a more graphical representation, which makes following the algorithm a whole lot easier. Now we need to get from a certain node, which we will call home, to another one, which we will call our destination, and try to find the route with the lowest cost. In reality, this cost can be numerous things. It could be physical distance or time needed, both of which are used in navigation. Or it could be, for example, error probability, which can be useful in network connections. We call it costs because that makes it intuitive that we want it as low as possible. Now that we got our setup done, it's time to go over the steps of the algorithm. Dijkstra constructed this algorithm mentally while shopping with his wife in Amsterdam. Apparently, this guy was able to converse with his wife about whether to go for that red or blue shirt while simultaneously building a routing algorithm in his head. Quite nice. Let's state the steps. So, first we construct two dictionaries. We put all the nodes in the unvisited dictionary together with the information on how to get there and at what cost. We will set the route of our home node to itself with a cost of zero while setting all the other costs to infinity. Let's do that first. Now it is important to differentiate between the current node and its neighbors. When we say current node, we mean the node that we are visiting at a particular moment and we consider the neighbors all the nodes that are directly connected to the current one and which are still in the unvisited dictionary. So to pick the current node, we look at the unvisited dictionary and we take the node with the lowest cost. That will be A. We highlight the path to the current node, which is now just node A itself, and then we order its unvisited neighbors on cost. We update the route and the cost if they are lower than in the unvisited dictionary and show this by highlighting the route white. After all neighbors are checked, we move the current node to the visited dictionary and then again we check the unvisited dictionary for the node with the lowest cost. That will be our next current node. I think we are all set and we will let the algorithm run for a little while. Let's pause for a second. Even though we have now, for the first time, updated the route and the cost for our destination in the unvisited dictionary, we have not yet visited the destination itself. In other words, our destination node has not yet been the current node, it has just been a neighbor of another current node. So we must continue.
and that's all there is to it. We have visited our destination node and thereby found the lowest cost route. So recall that if at any time your partner asks you whether you like his or her new shirt and you reply, the Dijkstra replied and made this world famous algorithm. So be humble.